Well, Carl, congratulations on your extension on your deal. I guess you must be really delighted with that. Yeah, absolutely buzzing. Uh, it was a bit of a shock, to be honest. Uh, but I think that's that's what I've been trying to work to, just trying to get get that next contract. Yeah, and obviously the manager has obviously shown faith in you, not just because of how he's played you in pre-season, but also for giving you this extra year. I guess that's reward for how well you've done in pre-season. Yeah, uh, obviously very, very grateful for uh, for the opportunity that he's, he's given me. Uh, I feel like he's uh, gave me a lot of game time. Uh, I just need to try and uh, take my take my opportunities when I get them. But uh, yeah, I've loved every minute so far, and uh, yeah, it's going really well. Yeah, we spoke about your your, your form in pre-season, but I guess when you get a contract, it's very easy sometimes to sit on that and say thank you very much. But ultimately, that the next test is to go to that next level. Yeah, of course. Uh, as soon as you get the first one, then you want to get the next one, and then when you get that one, you want to get the next one. So it's always uh, always setting goals and uh, always just trying to get to that uh, get to that stage. I know we spoke previously about um, family support, but that really is important for for a young footballer, particularly given the travel and everything that's involved in it. I guess your family were proud of you just as much as you were proud of yourself. Yeah, of course. Um, family have done a lot over all of the years that I've been playing. Uh, yeah, they've done so much for me, all the travelling. Uh, so it's nice to make them proud and. Uh, yeah, especially. Yes. And, sure as well. and I guess obviously when now the season's kicked off because they come thick and fast in terms of the games, there's no one day where you can dip below any kind of standard because ultimately that day could be the day where the manager says, actually, let's get you involved. Yeah, uh, it's mainly just keeping your standards as high as you can. Uh, yeah, because like you said, if uh, if they slip, that could be the one time that he's really noticed and uh, yeah, that could be opportunity gone. So it's just keeping them, keeping them high. And when and when you're not in the side, I guess you look at those players in the shirt, trying to learn things from them in different styles of footballers. But also, I guess um, you know you need, as you say, you need to be ready because if there is an injury or if there's something that needs to change, you have to be ready. Yes, uh, always, uh, always watching the more experienced boys. Obviously, try and learn as much as I can off them. But yeah, as you said, with anything does happen or they need a change, then obviously you've got to try and make sure I'm ready. Do you still? I mean, is it hard in training sometimes just to think to yourself, "Hang on a minute, I'm training here with the first team squad." Is it? Is there a moment where you can sort of look at other players and, and how they go about your business and sort of take little bits from them? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's so real that obviously I'm now with the first team and some of the boys that I'm playing with, the experience and stuff that they have is is unreal. But uh, yeah, you just try to like learn as much as you can off them and just take what you can.